Three reasons why Dr Phil better be careful about raising interest rates, why Treasurer Chalmers should not play tightwad with a fuel excise discount, and why stocks could slide tomorrow. I'm Peter Switzer, I'm back, I'm alone, and I'm mad about money. All right, here are three reasons why Dr Phil should give us Aussies a break on rate rises. The first one is we have higher levels of household debt than most countries of the world. Secondly, we have a higher share of variable rate mortgages compared to particularly the US where the US uh, borrower has 30 year fixed rate home loans. We're variable so when the interest rates go up we react. We actually do respond quickly to interest rate rises where the Americans don't. That's why they need bigger ones and more rate rises than us. And thirdly, a large share of recently fixed mortgages will roll off. So people who locked in at 2% or 2.5% might roll onto a 4% home loan. So that's really going to have a big effect as well. So that means that Dr. Phil has to be careful that by raising interest rates too much, he could actually potentially create a recession in 2023. And we know he screwed up his forecasts on interest rates, telling us there probably won't be a rate rise until 2024, and he's started raising them in 2022. Phil needs to avoid a recession to maintain a once very good uh, reputation as being a very good economist. Now, the next one, Doctor, another doctor in the, in the uh, frame is Dr. Jim Chalmers, our new treasurer. He's got a budget coming up on October 25, and uh, he's discovered, well, a $50 billion windfall. So all the people out there who might not have liked ScoMo and didn't vote for him really should not be uh, thinking ScoMo being a hopeless money manager during the, the, the pandemic and the implications on the budget deficit has actually been so good that they've ended up with a $50 billion windfall. The, the deficit is $50 billion smaller than they were expecting in April 20 during the election campaign. So that's all good for Labor, it's good for Jim Chalmers. And the question is, can he therefore allow the fuel discount, the excise discount, to go on for another, say, six months to keep inflation down, to help inflation remain low compared to other countries of the world, Remember, the Reserve Bank thinks in the December quarter the inf- inflation rate will kick up, partly because they think that the excise will be taken away, the excise discount, but that's only worth $3 billion. It's a $3 billion cost, and he's all of, all of a sudden discovered $50 billion at the back of the lounge, so he, uh, he can afford to actually do it. Now, if he did it, it keeps inflation down, it makes it easier for Dr. Phil not to raise interest rates, and therefore hurt lots of people more than he really needs to do. Lower inflation means that we don't need higher interest rates and that could be good for not only individual households but also for the economy going forward, particularly if question marks about whether too many rate rises could cause a recession. And finally, another doctor, Dr Jerome Powell, overnight will make a decision on interest rates in the US. Now, we expected a 0.75% rate rise particularly after his Jackson Hole speech, which spooked the stock market. Then the inflation number came out last week. That spooked the stock market. And it had some experts saying, well, maybe Dr. Jerome Powell will go for a 1% rise. If he does, the stock market will really, really hate it. And we'll wake up tomorrow morning to a Wall Street that's really smashed if he goes 1%, and our market will also fall by a large amount. If he goes for 0.75%, then everyone will start reading what commentary comes with the decision and and whether that commentary is saying more 0.75% rate rises are in the pipeline. The market won't like that. But also they'll look at the thing called the dot plot um, chart, which shows you what the voting members on the interest rate panel in the US, what they're thinking about where interest rates will go. They basically put a dot on where interest rates will be in the future and that can also spook the stock market or could make them pretty happy. Uh, uh, Despite all what I've said, the bottom line will be if there's some scary information comes out overnight from Dr Jerome Powell, the stock market won't like it. If it's okay information, maybe we go higher, but that is less likely. I'm Peter Switzer and I'm mad about money. (laughs) 